Hello, welcome to Dava CIT. In this session, I will show you how to log in in ASP.NET C-Sharp. So first, open up Visual Studio. Click on Solution Explorer. I already created a login page design. Let's see the design of login page, right? Right. The previous session, I already told that how to log in and log out using MVC with Entity Framework. But today, I will tell you how to log in using ASP.NET C Sharp with Adio.NET. Right. Now it's done for coding of login button. So come back to login page and on click. equal to create new event and right click login button click view code now open up SQL server I have already created a database and table see users users is a database name and users table is a table name right and now right click users table edit top 200 rows I have already inserted some value in users table right now open up visual studio again now we define here some namespace using system data dot SQL client using system dot configuration right using SQL connection con is equal to new SQL connection configuration manager dot connection is string I define here connection string name right dot connection string so what my connection string name click on solution explorer open up web config and connection string add name connection string name my connection string name like a db connection string right In connection string Click on Server Explorer, right click Data Connection, Add Connection, my server name is Dava PC. And select Database Name, what my database name uses, right? and ok right click properties 
and connection string select and copy and paste here save and copy dbcs and paste here now con dot open sql command cmd is equal to new sql command select star from users table where username is equal to single quotation mark double quotation mark and plus plus txt username dot text right and password equal to single quotation mark double quotation mark and plus plus txt password dot text comma con see very careful text username dot text is this text box name right and txt password dot text is this text box name right now now sql data reader dr is equal to cmd dot execute reader if dr dot has row equal equal true dr dot read and response dot redirect now we define here page name means when users enter a username and password then it redirect to another page but I have already created page users home page right right click rename and copy and paste here right aspx else script manager dot register start of script page comma page dot get type
comma double quotation mark pop up comma double quotation mark alert invalid password true but sorry we define here more than one same name space here right so we delete this name space save right so what my username john and password is mirror at one zero right john if i enter the wrong password here and click login see what will be error show invalid password right and now if i enter a correct password mirror at one zero right see it redirect to another page right but i want to show here a username then how to do that right open up login page first stop we define here session first we should know why we use session because the session state variables can be accessed across pages means Using session state variables, we can transfer the value from one pages to another pages, right? So, session username. Equal dia. username dot to string right now open users home page and paste here level control Right click view code and we define here level one dot text is equal to this copy here two string. Now save and the username John password is mirror at one zero. username show here correct i hope you enjoy and if you want to see more knowledgeable video please do subscribe my channel comment like and share thank you so much for watching